think we need a lot of work in AP Calculus AB on finding volume through integration. So we're going to work again on the disk method. So I just want to remind you what the formula for the disk method is. It's that if you want to find the volume of something that's being rotated about the x-axis, you just say the volume is pi times the definite integral a to b. I'm going to give some detail to this in a minute. rx squared dx. And what we're saying here is this, that we're going to take this thing that's being spun around the x-axis. We're going to take its area, pi r squared is the area of a circle, and dx gives us the depth. So we're going to cut this piece off, these individual pieces off, and we're going to add them together. So this part right here is the area of the circle. This is the depth, so that gives us volume. So this is a volume equation. And the one I want to use right now is this one. It's find the volume for y equals 9 minus x squared. And they give us this picture to look at, and they say we have this. It looks something like this. Zero to three. So what we're going to do now is take this, this, and put it into this. What we do have to figure out is this. This thing is going to be spinning, right? So it's going to end up looking like about the x-axis. So it's going to be spinning about this thing right here, right? So it's going to end up looking like, if you can see it, like, like this if you could make this a solid, right? So if this was a solid shape, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn it, so if we were looking into it this way, we'd see these circles, right? And we're going to cut off these pieces of circles. So we're going to cut off this piece of circle right here, and call it this, and take the volume of that, and we're going to, still looking in this way, right? Looking into it this way, seeing something like this. Then, of course, we'd get a smaller piece, wouldn't we? That is to say a piece with a smaller radius, right? And, but it would have some volume to it, and we would add that until we got them all done. So what I'm going to do is this. <clears throat> I'm going to take this volume equation and say pi times the definite integral. We want it from 0 to 3, so 0 to 3. Just plugging this in, right, squared dx. And it says that what we're supposed to do is take our f of x function, right? Keep this in mind. r of x is f of x. So we're going to take this function here and just put it inside get 9 minus x squared. Do a little bit of algebra to simplify this, and we'll get volume is equal to pi times the definite integral 0 to 3 of 9 minus x squared dx. And now if we, I think we have an integrable form, an integrable form. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate here. I'm going to integrate here and say that our volume is equal to pi times the first integral of 9 is 9x, isn't it? Minus x cubed over 3. Remember this, it's x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, so I'm just using that rule there, right? As evaluated from 0 to 3. And from here, I'm just going to just finish up my math <clears throat> and say, I'm actually not going to do the arithmetic for it, but I'm just going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus here that says that f that we use f of b minus sorry f of b minus big f of a so i'm just going to do that i'm going to take pi times that right pi times that area so we're going to get pi times f of 3 minus f of 0 is equal to that volume and i don't know what your professor is looking for but this is what the calculus of it looks like. And if you're working on the AP exam, AP Calc exam, this is what your reader's looking for. They're much more impressed with the, you showing your steps through calculus than they are of you getting a numerical answer. So hope this is helpful. If you're not already subscribed, I hope that you will. Thanks.